Hello everyone! A few weeks ago, I posted a video about finding inspiration and ideas for photography with my macro lenses. I began with returning to a subject that I had been wanting to revisit for years. And then I made a list of items and subjects that I have found around the house or easily accessible that might be interesting to see close up. If you're looking for ideas, I highly suggest starting a list of prompts and subjects to photograph. Here are a few examples from my list. I considered the crystal-like forms of the rocks of Himalayan salt in my pantry, so I placed some on a red plate to photograph. I thought having a similar colour would help keep the focus on the salt. I enjoyed seeing that some areas of the rocks were semi-transparent and reflective, so I tried to capture that. Even something seemingly uninteresting like a shoe is worth a closer look. I wondered what the canvas type fabric would look like up close. While looking through the macro lens, I noticed patterns and textures and the craftsmanship of how the various pieces have been put together. Here is another subject I'd photographed way back when I first began photography. I thought I'd revisit this one too because of the shiny reflections and patterns. Back then, I had a different lens and phone camera, so I wanted to see what it would look like with what I have now. I put the perfume bottle on top of a makeup case and put various coloured boxes in the background for a variety of colours and reflections. On my list I added a toy, thinking I would find one of my children's Lego minifigures, but then I remembered these little carvings I had in a trinket box. I had an idea of putting colours of a sunset in the background, so I displayed an image on my laptop screen and then just covered the keyboard with fabric. Inside the same trinket box I found some banknotes and coins from Zimbabwe and South Africa. I was born in Rhodesia in Southern Africa so now you know where my accent comes from. It seems that currency is one of those things that many of us think of photographing whenever we want to try out a macro lens. But I don't think I have ever taken a photo of money before until now.
An idea you simply cannot avoid when coming up with a list of things to photograph is food. Now this is one thing I had tried early on with macro photography and quickly realized that most food is not appealing when you look at it extremely close up. A close-up is not so bad, but an extreme close-up, that can be quite unappetizing. I have hundreds of colored pencils and several unfinished pencil studies, so I brought the two together and took some photos of some pencil shavings. One of the many things that came to mind when I made my list was to take a photo of this little nightlight. I've always loved the small pieces of stained glass, but when I looked at it closely through the lens, I realized there was no way to make an attractive image. So I took it apart and decided to look at the light bulb instead. I put it on the stainless steel tabletop of our kitchen island, which seemed like a nice complement to the surface colour and reflective nature of the light bulb. I'm sharing my list in the description below if you would like to copy it or have something to build on. Thanks so much for watching. If I can give any advice on finding ideas and inspiration for macro photography, it would be this. Don't wait for a spark of inspiration. All you have to do is look for it. Be on the lookout all the time. As you start noticing the different characteristics of potential subjects, you will develop a keen sense of visual skills and because the possibilities are endless, you'll get lots of practice with your camera and macro lens.